All right, so now what we want to do is say something about how we're going to create images in this thing. So I'm going to extend my optical axis just a little bit, and I'll create a little tree over here, or house, or whatever, that we are trying to determine what sort of image we're going to obtain for this object. There are three special rays that will guide us in determining what the image of this thing looks like. The first is, let's say we're looking at where does the top of the tree end up. The first special ray we draw is one that's just parallel to the optical axis, because by definition, we know that that will go through to the focal point and then just keep going. The next one that we have to consider is essentially go through this diagram sort of backwards, so to speak. So we draw a ray that goes to the near side focal point. As that goes on, it encounters the lens. And how is that going to change? Well, it's hit the lens here. By hitting the lens, it's just doing the opposite of this line, say. So parallel rays were set to the focal point. Things which are coming from the focal point will be made parallel. All right, and we can see that basically we expect our tree is going to end up over here. But we can confirm it with one additional ray. And that is the one that is headed straight towards just the center of the lens from the top of the tree. As we do that, we see it indeed intersects over there as well. So all of the rays leaving the top of this thing will actually follow and intersect over here. So what you're seeing is that you're going to create, evidently, a slightly magnified upside down tree uh, or house or whatever this thing is over there. So by using these three special rays, we've determined where the image of this thing ends up. So the rays leave the tree travel along these different paths, but they're all brought back together at that point. So every single ray, which hits the lens anyway, from the top of the tree, arrives at that single point, therefore reconstructing the image of the tree. So I could put a sheet of paper here, and I would see the tree on that sheet of paper upside down and slightly larger. 